Welcome back to the channel guys, uh, just a quick update that I thought I'd bring to you tonight. As you can see, uh, it's a bit of a dangerous game to be holding your player right now. Player has taken a dump to the downside. Um, I took all of my positions, I came out of all of my positions around this area and uh, rightly so. Uh, I did warn um, that it could, if it doesn't push through this barrier, it could see a drop to the downside. Um, I also got a message in the telegram group where these guys are constantly slamming my TA and telling me uh, how wrong I am and that uh, you can't do TA on player because uh, it's a low liquidity coin and all that sort of rubbish. All right, um, I'll actually try and find a few pictures that I can post up for you while I'm talking. But uh, they also pointed out the player VET chart to me and told me that there was going to be a breakout, they were breaking out. I actually posted a message back and says, well, actually, what you can see there is a double top, okay, and it's not a breakout, at least on the one day, until the candle closes and you get a confirmed candle close above this area. Let's have a look. They told me it was a breakout over here, but I said it's not a breakout until a candle, candle body closes. It's actually a double top until the candle body closes, so you can't call it a breakout yet, and rightly so. You see a big move from Bitcoin, big move from the from from Ethereum and the altcoins in the market as a bought player down, as you can see significantly. That is a bit of a dump uh, that nobody wants to see while they're holding their coins. All right, people are saying that they're going to buy in now or they should buy in now. I don't believe it's a good time to buy in. Not after a double top. I think you should wait, especially when you see. Uh, the larger caps taking off like the way they are, 30% drop there and uh, I believe it could be heading further to the downside because to break that structure, it would be good to see a little drop and then it get bought back up quickly. In this case, that is definitely not the case and you can see this is probably going to continue to the downside. I could be wrong, but I'm more than likely think that I'm right, especially we've got a bullish, bearish, sorry, bearish MACD cross, the RSI bearish. Uh, I don't want to focus too much on the VET chart, I don't normally, but just for the sake of the moon boys in the telegram uh, trying to tell me that it was going to go up when I completely disagreed. Uh, didn't rule it out as a possibility, but uh, yeah, it didn't look like it was to me. It looked like it was struggling. If you go back and watch my, my last video from this morning, uh, I said that it was struggling uh, to break through this level. It was struggling to close above and continue to the upside where it could happen, I did say. At the end of the day, I'm not the oracle and I don't know everything that's going to happen. But I have to look at the probabilities and decide what's the best thing for me to do. Was I willing to hold my bags of play around these levels? Of course not. I sold all of my play and I'm completely out and I avoided a disaster by doing so. If you're a long-term holder, at the end of the day, nothing wrong with holding it, alright? So I don't want to slate anybody for doing that. At the end of the day, it's your decision. Everyone's got a choice to make. I don't like when people slam people for selling out of their coins and taking profits uh, when that's their decision, that's their choice. You got to do what's best for you in this market. All right. So yeah, as you can see, uh, also on the Bitmark chart, player struggling to find uh, any clear price action uh, pushing up into the into this zone. I said in my video earlier that if it came up here and got rejected. It failed. It's trying to push back up, but obviously you can see there's no strength there. Now we've got to drop through the downside. It failed to hold the 50-day moving average, and it could potentially be going a lot further down, guys. Uh, so yeah, let's find out what is going to happen. Let's see how this plays out over the rest of the weekend, guys. Uh, it's just a quick update for you. Like I said, let me know in the comments what do you think. Do you think it's going to go further down? Do you think it's going to get bought back up and we can see a continuation up? Maybe a V-shaped recovery? Let me know in the comments, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I guess see you again in the next one.